Hey guys, so I forgot to film an intro for this video because I wasn't sure if I was going to include it in a vlog or do a standalone video, but it seems like there's enough footage to do a standalone video, so hello and welcome to this video. Um, today I will be converting a sideboard I got a marketplace marketplace for about 50 bucks to a brand new sideboard. If you want to see that, keep watching. Also subscribe to my channel every Tuesday and Thursday, and let's get into it. Hello, is this a vlog? Is this a watching paint a sideboard video? I don't know, but I'm painting a sideboard. I bought a sideboard off of Facebook Marketplace for $50 score and it's wood. So I'm going to be painting it. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the before and after. I just filmed a video, which is why I'm covered in glitter. Don't judge me. This is just how flawless I want to look while I paint a sideboard. Okay, so this is what the sideboard looks like with a cat. Um, it's pretty thin, which is kind of what I needed because it's a small space to fit it in. I've just kind of moved my kitchen table, which is a mess over there, put down a drop cloth and I put actually some wood underneath each foot just so that I can actually get to the base. I thought it would be too difficult with the drop cloth because it's fabric. Um, so I'm just gonna take this apart now and then kind of show you guys what the game plan is. Okay, that was a situation. So we are all taken apart. Here is the cabinet. I have put it, I don't mention this before, but I put it on two pieces of wood just so I can get to the feet better. Here's the two cabinet doors. I am going to uh, put them up on uh, risers, AKA red solo cups. Here is this part. I did have to wood glue a little piece of that together. So I'll probably do that last, but this is gonna be a pain in the ass to paint, so I'm gonna prime it, and then I'm actually just gonna spray paint this black because I'm not trying to like use a paintbrush all up in that. And then these are the drawers, the pain. So the drawers were actually screwed directly in on the back, so which I didn't notice until I loosened one from like, there was a screw in the front and there were three screws in the back, which I didn't notice until I, <laughs> And the uh, little sliders, these little babies were actually stuck in the front because someone had glued the fronts back on at some point or had, or they put glue up there at some point. So there was glue there. So I literally used a lighter to melt the glue. Then I used a spatula to just like, and a screwdriver shoving it in there, kind of prying it apart. Then it was still kind of stuck in there. And then I just, reefed it really hard and there's actually as you can see back here there's three little screws in here uh so i literally just ripped the screws <laughs> right out of the back so i did after i realized that it was screwed in at the back because i couldn't figure out where it was screwed in and i kind of just thought that it was just stuck from being together for so many years so my husband did take the back off for me and it's actually funny because this uh, so this is what the back looked like and when <laughs> you flip it over they put the back on backwards I think or that's the inside I'm not really sure I'll probably paint that but just like roughly at the end so I don't really care what the back looks like but this is where we are so now I'm going to prime it I roughly sanded it just slightly with like a medium grit sandpaper just to get a little bit of the just like a little bit of gritty I literally sanded the whole thing for probably like 10 minutes tops. Like what is my hair doing today? I sanded it for like 10 minutes tops because like honestly, here's the thing, spoiler alert. You don't need to really sand anything down in 2020. Primer is your best friend. Get a sticky primer. My uncle who's a contractor swears by a primer called Styx, but I have this primer from Deluxe. It's their expert primer. I bought it for my uh, kitchen cabinets in my staircase and it's worked fine for that. The only nicks on my staircase right now are because my cat has learned to jump on the banister and <laughs> when she jumps on the angled banister, she digs her nails in and scratches it. So no paint could prevent that. But other than that, it's held up perfectly fine and I didn't prime my spindles or anything at all. Or sorry, I actually didn't even prime my spindles but I primed like the handles you touch and stuff. So. You just need to get a really sticky primer. And honestly, I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint for afterwards. And most 
they say that with those you don't really need to prime but i'm still gonna prime with a sticky primer just like a really rough coat i'm gonna do it tonight it's like 5 30 on a sunday and then um i'll probably be back tomorrow to show you guys me doing the first coat i don't really think that i'm gonna film i'm not gonna film me priming just because like it's boring but i am going to prime and then i will come back and show you guys what it looks like tomorrow in the daylight it's 5 30 p.m and it's pitch black out and then i will do the first coat of gray and then I'll do another coat the next day and then I should be done. I do have to figure out what I'm going to spray paint that uh, middle part black, but that'll probably depend on when it's nice outside because I'm going to, I like to spray paint outside. I'm just like too messy to spray paint inside. I literally get spray paint everywhere. <laughs> so even if I have drop cloth down, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's where we are. I will be back tomorrow to show you how she looks. Okay, we're primed. It doesn't look that exciting, but I'm showing you anyways. I also just want to show you like how poorly I've primed it because this is all you need to do. Like primer does not need to be a thick, perfect coat. You kind of just slap it on. The whole purpose is to just, I have no makeup on today. Uh, the whole purpose is to just basically put something on there that's going to help the paint stick. Also, I had to pick up a new primer yesterday because my primer was completely dried out and disgusting. So I ended up getting this. It's the Zinser Bullseye 123 primer. The Zinser primers are supposed to be great because they actually stick to surfaces without sanding, which is the dream. Did I need an entire gallon? No, but my husband told me the quart wouldn't be enough. I used like a millimeter of paint, but we're primed and now we're going to paint. So I decided to go with the Rust-Oleum chalked paint. So I picked up the shade Country Gray in the small container and the shade Aged Gray because I couldn't decide which one I liked more. So I had actually swatched both of these literally on the side of this cabinet to decide on the color, but I just didn't show you guys because I'm the worst YouTuber. So in the container, chalked looks like a nice gray, but like in the light, it just looked almost white. It was so light. So if you're looking for something that's like a, like a slightly darker than white gray, this is great. But country gray definitely looks more like a real gray. So that's what I'll be using. And I did buy um, some cans of it, but I'm going to start with this because I have it. Also for this, I'll be using a foam roller and I also picked up this paintbrush that was like in the chalked paint section it's a benjamin it's a bennett professional chalk oval brush i kind of got a giant one which i probably should have bought a smaller one because like i need it for around the corners and stuff but we're winging it here and am i just gonna mix it in the tray maybe fight me let's paint First coat, done. I did the front of the cabinets first, that way if it does drip down, the drips are on the inside of the door, not the outside of the door. And this is what she looks like. You'll see that first coat is never perfect. 
don't try to make it perfect. It's better to have a thin kind of patchy first coat than a thick and goopy one. And you'll see like the second coat is literally magic. Here's my drawers. We're beautiful. Okay, so that is coat one, night one. Um, I will do another coat tomorrow. And hopefully it's enough. If I have to do three coats, I have to do three coats. Um, I'm just gonna put my paintbrush and a paint tray in a plastic bag, like a grocery store bag, and then tie it on a knot. If you didn't know, that's how you can keep your paintbrushes wet so you don't have to <laughs> wash them between coats. So I'm just gonna keep that in there. It'll last until tomorrow, and then I will do it all again tomorrow. Yay. Okay, so the last thing you guys saw was me doing the first coat of paint on the sideboard. I did that, I did two coats of the paint. Again, it's the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the shade Country Gray. I used about half of this can and I used one of these small containers. So one of these cans is about 30 bucks. And so you really only need one can if you're doing a project this size. Um, I also, let me tell you all the things that got fucked up during this process because I think that's like, the realism of DIY is you're gonna fuck shit up and that's just the way it is. Uh, so I ripped the uh, <laughs> I ripped the drawers out, not realizing they were screwed in, in the back. Um, then I painted the whole thing, primer and paint, and realized that I didn't actually paint the inside. So I wasn't gonna paint the insides, but I forgot about the inside where the wine rack goes that isn't actually doesn't isn't covered by a door, so I had to go back and repaint that. So night one I primed, night two I did the first coat of paint, night three I did the second coat of paint, <laughs> and then night four I was going to start sealing her up, but I couldn't, so I actually had to prime and do two coats of the Rust-Oleum paint in the same night. I will say you could definitely do this. It would definitely it took me about a week to do it, but it would it could should not take you this long if you're doing it like in a day. The Rust-Oleum paint dries to touch in about like an hour. So you could do a second coat. I just was doing it at nighttime and then like was lazy. <laughs> so I did that. Um, when I spray painted the wine rack, I just spray painted it black because it was already so dark that I knew that, and like it was such a weird shape. Like it's, how do you paint those without taking them apart or rebuilding them? So I spray painted it black because I hoped it would cover most of the brown. And when I was spray painting it, I put a piece of drywall down, like old drywall down on the floor in the garage to spray paint it. And then when I flipped it over to spray paint the other side, I flipped it back over to do a second coat and there was drywall all stuck to the back of it. So I actually just sanded the drywall down and then decided that was gonna be the, that was gonna be the back of the wine rack. I was like, well, that's the back, I don't care. I also took the back piece off and then I fell <laughs> while I was painting and I like, I fell, I stepped on it and there's like a hole in it now. <laughs> If you know me, this isn't surprising because I'm the world's clumsiest human. Um, the doorknobs we got were the screws that came with them were actually too short. So we had to use the original screws that came with the original doorknobs. So thank God we kept those. Um, I think that's it. So after I did the two coats of paint and fixed my middle fuck up, um, my husband and I spray painted the wine rack, mostly my husband, and then I started doing the matte coat. So I did, this is the Rust-Oleum Chalked Protective Top Coat Matte Clear. Um, heads up, you should not shake this can, which I read after I shook the can. Also, you can apply it with a roller, you have to use a brush. Um, it's probably best to use like a foam brush, but I just used a synthetic brush because it's what I had and it looks totally fine. I did two coats of this, it recommends to do one to three, but for me, the sideboard is more a decorative piece and like extra storage. It's not something that's gonna be used heavily, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Like it wasn't like it's gonna be a dresser or something. So I only did two coats, uh, which was fine. Oh, also another fuck up I did was after I did the first coat of this, I put the brush in a plastic bag just to keep it wet. And um, it was a plastic bag from Dollarama that I bought Christmas decorations in. And then when I started painting with that same brush after, I was like, why is there red glitter? in my top coat. Oh, cause there's red glitter in the bag and now it's all over my brush. <laughs> DIY is not easy, but overall it's done and I wanna show you. So this 
This is her. Honestly, it looks so good. I got these uh, just plain matte handles from Lowe's. They're about $7 each. As you can see, I spray painted the wine rack black. And honestly, if you look really closely, you can see that it's brown inside, but you really can't tell. There are some spots I need to touch up, which I'm only showing you to show you that DIY does not have to be perfect. There's some spots here and here. I just used a matte black spray paint for this. I believe it was also Rust-Oleum. It's what I already had. So in order to do those touch-ups, I'm actually going to just like spray the paint onto like a plate, like a paper plate, and then just use a paintbrush to do the touch-ups. We have the doors. We have, you can see the inside is not painted. Excuse me, cat. And yeah, this is what she looks like, honestly. So beautiful. I love the like chalky finish. It doesn't look too streaky or anything. Like there's a couple spots where like you can see it's a DIY, but overall I'm so happy with it. So that is my DIY sideboard reno. I don't know. I painted the sideboard. Um, the sideboard, like I said, cost $50 off Facebook Marketplace. With paint and supplies, it probably ended up costing me $150 in total because uh, the paint was about $50 bucks and then the knobs were about $40 to $50 because they were like $7 a piece at low. So that plus the cost of the piece was $150. But honestly, like sideboards are so expensive. I've seen them all over. Like I was looking to buy one off Wayfair and they're like 500 minimum. So to get this for 150 bucks is a fucking steal. And it worked out pretty well. I'm not mad about it. I think the black wine rack is like, adds a nice pop of color, not really pop of color, but adds a nice like detail to it. And it mat mixes in with the uh, doorknobs, which looks beautiful. And I am so happy with her. I'm so happy to finally have a sideboard. I've been looking forever. So I would definitely say, keep your eye out for pieces on Marketplace. And we have Kijiji in Canada. Do you guys have Craigslist or something? Like all of those online places, like free or cheap stuff that honestly, don't even look at the color, just look at the shape of the piece and if that works for you painting it is so easy and you don't need to sand because that's always been my like hesitance for doing a piece like this is that i don't want to sand but honestly you don't need to sand as long as you use a good primer and that zinser primer was fantastic like i didn't need to sand at all it's a super sticky primer so yeah uh let me know down below what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye